We are back at the QVC Morning Show. I'm Dave King. We've got one of our electronics experts here. His name is Rob Del Casal. Rob, hey, good Dave. to see great you. Great to be here with you. Now, you've been bringing great electronics, but one of our favorite things to present together, we've had the opportunity to do it a few times, is this item. This is something that I want you to think about right now. If you have a vinyl records, if you know what they are, <laughs> you have vinyl records, you have 45s, 33s, 78s, or old cassettes, and you would love to be able to play them again on your computer, actually create MP3 files, you can do that with this item. It is E02530 Import Deluxe, what we're talking about. It's a home stereo to computer recording system. It's $69.75. That's what you get. But what you get is an opportunity to relive memories, to experience the music that you love like never before. It is the, really one of the coolest things ever. I want you to follow me slowly with this one so you can get it. All of the reel-to-reel -reel tapes that you still have. All of the vinyl that you still have, the 45s, the cassettes, how does it work, Rob? It's really easy, Dave. Basically, all you need to do is take this little box mm -hmm. and hook up the cable that's provided into one end, hook up the USB cable that's provided into the other end, and the other end goes into your computer. You load this disc in there, the drivers automatically load, and then you are ready to go. At that point, all you need to do then is start your LP or your cassette tape, and you can copy the music, like you said, right into your computer, and then you can download it on the CDs or right onto your iPod. So you're talking about five minutes yes, to set this it, up, Yes, literally, right? literally. Literally five, five minutes. minutes. So now, if you do own one of these, we'd love to hear from you on our testimonial line. It's 1-800-395-1601. We'll show you how easy it is to do. Again, keep in mind, all you do is you load on the software into your computer, and then you just plug this into your player. And your stereo and your in one stereo. end. And you plug the other end of this cord, the USB, into the USB port in the box, the import box. The other end right here goes into your computer, and that's it. It's one device connected by two cables on either side. But that's it. Could it could not be easy. We're going to show you how to do it. And what I want you to understand is, got a little glare there. There, you can see it right there. What you understand is, it's going to actually sound better than it did on your, on your uh, right. turntable because of the technology, right? Two different things can come into play there. It's actually taking the analog quality, it's was, it was created in analog, and converting it to digital quality sound. And then on top of it, what Import has done is they've created what's called a wave corrector. You know how you get those pops, or those clicks, those scratches in your old vinyl or your tapes? It actually reduces or deletes them completely. We're going to show you how easy it is to do. And I want you to think, what was your favorite song? What's the first 45 you bought? You probably still have that 45. Now I can take it because it's probably <laughs> out of print. Or if it is in print, it's among a compilation of like 30 songs or 50 songs that you don't want. So you could save money just doing this. Right, you couldn't find the DeFranco family anymore. No, I, that was my not. first 45. What we have going here, Dave, right here, is we have a tape, like an old cassette tape, my 12-inch disco singles. Right. Okay, and it's playing. You see the music is playing here. What we're doing is we have the import box connected to the stereo outputs on the tape player, the red and white. Mm -hmm. It goes into the box here, and then we connect it to this end right here, right into the computer. And if you look on the screen, you'll see the bars going up and down right here. Mm -hmm. That is the music from the tape being copied into the computer, creating a music file there that at that point you can then download onto your iPod or create CDs, burn CDs so out of So put it on your iPod, put on your MP3 player, or burn CDs. One of my favorite things, we'll go to the phones in a second, is when you've got a, a maybe your children recorded a song, right? and you have that on tape or cassette, and now your children are older, or maybe your father did, and they're no longer with you, your grandfather, what, what have you, you can actually download that to your computer as well right. and create that file so those memories will last forever. And what you said about tapes, and what we're seeing right there again is how it works. Basically, you set the volume level, you start your music, you start the recorder on the computer, and there you see the music being copied right into the computer from the album that uh, the young lady had on the turntable. And what you were saying about tapes, Dave, is, is true. You can make those tapes, you still have those tapes, but once those tapes break, once they deteriorate or they, they disintegrate, and they will or, deteriorate. And, they will. Yep. And, and once something happens like this um, to your tapes, it's, it's just they're, they're done with at that point. Again, what she did right there was she just turned the music on, she set the uh, volume level on the computer, she started it right there, and she's ready to go. And look at all she could do. I love 45s, it. The 45s, your 33s, your long plays, vinyl, 78s, right. all that. Real to real. Mindy knows what we're talking about. Mindy out there in Ohio. Mindy, please say hello to Rob. Hi, Rob. Good morning, Mindy. How are you? Um, very good. Well, thank you. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Now, how's this been working for you? It's my understanding you already own it. I do, and I love it. It's I've, I've used it mainly for old 45s mm -hmm. and um, record albums. I've got tons and tons of record albums. I'm right. A big country music fan, so I've got, <laughs> I've got records from way back. 
Um, it was very easy to use. I, you know, when I first got it, I opened the book and started reading it, and I thought, oh, am I going to be able to do this? But hooked it up, just followed it step by step, and it was very simple to use. It didn't take you long at all? Not at all, That's, no. that's great. And also, Mindy, since you've used it, I want you to help us out. I, my thought is, all those songs you have, all those albums, the 45s, did you ever think of trying to get them, you know, updated on CDs or, or uh, uh, other compilations? Well, yeah, and I had a few over the years, you know, picked up, but there's no way you could replace all of those. No. Exactly. You if, just can't. If you, could, if you could find them, right? If, exactly. if you could find them at all. Exactly. And I also, I, I sing around, you know, for different community events and use the accompaniment tracks, which I had mostly on cassette tape. So right. now I was able to put all of those onto CD, have them all on one, one unit, you know, to take with me. That right. is great. It makes it portable and condenses it for you. Exactly. Well, where are you playing next, Minnie? We'll be there. We'll just <laughs> well, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you dialing in. I think it's a great idea, too. You have a great weekend, okay? You too. Thanks, Thanks so Mindy. Much. Thank you, Mindy. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. And, and Dave, it's what Mindy was mentioning about tapes. Once we mentioned earlier, once the tapes get like this, they're done with, and you can't use them anymore. The other thing is, uh, you know, to be able to make your vinyl portable again, to be able to make all those albums, those 45 to 700 albums you have, and to be able to put them on something this small and take it with you, it's just amazing because it enables you to reconnect with those old memories. Absolutely. Mem and what you were mentioning earlier about um, personal memories. Uh, right here, we actually have some on here from reel-to-reels that my grandfather made years ago of my cousin. These things are irreplaceable. Those things, those things that you had as kids that you can never replace. No, you can't find no, them. No, if the tape disintegrates, they're done with. And now you can create it and keep it forever because it goes onto a computer file. You burn it onto a CD or you put it on your, your MP3 player and it's with you forever. It enables you to reconnect with all, the, all, all music that you haven't heard in years that you want to listen to and take with you again. We're going to go to the phones. Uh, you're live on the air, Deborah. As you see how easy that is to put together, it's my understanding, Deborah, you're just getting it this morning. Is that true? Yes, I am. Excellent. Please say hello to Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Deborah. So, what about this? You're watching QVC's morning show today, and you said, you know what? That's going to be pretty cool. Why'd you dial in for that? Well, my husband has a track player, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's impossible to get anything that will work with it anymore. Right, right. We're afraid we're going to lose our tapes. What he'd like to do is make it so that he can put it on CDs mm -hmm. so we can play them. <laughs> exactly. We love, we love polka music, and some of this ethnic music is hard to find anymore, and mm -hmm. you absolutely cannot get it on anything that we can play nowadays. So we'd like to get some of our polka music put onto CDs. Excellent. All you need to do is on that 8-track player, as long as you're able to plug this in, red and white, and I'm sure you are because that's been around for virtually ever, right. Right. you just plug it right into, your, right into the unit, you plug that right into your computer, after you've downloaded that software, you're talking about five minutes, and you're going to be polka, doing the polka <laughs> as often and as frequently as you want. It would be great to be able to take these to parties and just drop the disc right in. That's exactly. it. Exactly. It You'll makes it all that, that portable for you. And all the cables, Deborah, come included. Everything you need to use it. Okay. All righty. All right. Thanks a lot. That, that answered my question. Excellent. And Rob wants to come to that next polka party, too. I'm oh. ready to go. He's a little shy. Well, <laughs> I tell you, when you go to have a wedding dance anymore and you want this ethnic music, right? it's hard to find It is. People and it's very expensive to get a good band. So if we had the music on CDs, we could play our own. You exactly. got it ready. Play what you want when you want. Right. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thank Deborah. Bye-bye. Mm, bye bye. Bye bye. Sixty nine seventy five. Again, you get the cable, and that's thirty five feet of cable or twenty five. Thirty feet. Thir thirty, 30 feet, feet of feet cable. Of cable. Uh, and again, you got the software. It is awesome. It is E zero two five three zero. Rob.